Y2K Turbine Bike Marine Turbine Technologies has made what every biker only dreamt of before. Back in the year 2000, the company introduced the Y2K Turbine Motorcycle, sometimes referred to as the Y2K Turbine Superbike. It is an American motorcycle powered by a turboshaft engine. Y2K is the most powerful bike ever produced. It produces 320 bhp at 52,000 rpm and creates torque which is more than Lamborghini Huracan. Crazy, right? Another jaw-dropping revelation is that its vigorous engine was actually used by helicopters. Initially, a Rolls-Royce Allison gas turbine engine was used to power the first generation of Y2K. During the demonstration, the mighty vehicle produced over 320 horsepower and 425 pound-foots of torque on the Dynejet 200 and has crossed the record-breaking barrier of 227 miles per hour. MTT's Y2K holds two Guinness World Records, first being designated as the most expensive production motorcycle that went on sale, and second being the most powerful motorcycle ever produced. Twin Turbine Airboat Gone are the days when problems like coastal erosion and damage to wetlands was a concern. Marine Turbine Technologies has come up with Super Airboat that has an exclusive propulsion system achieved by two 1500 horsepower marinized gas turbine engines. The premier 10 feet diameter propulsion system of the airboat makes it stand out from the rest of the boats. The groundbreaking wing in ground wig and wing ship technologies in South Korea required such powerful propulsion and was in fact made for them. Airboat is loaded with various machines depending on the customer's needs, including articulating crane, hydraulic drill, firefighting and rescue equipment. Jet Blade All thanks to students from Michigan's Calvin College who have revolutionized the ski design by creating a jet blade. Jet Blade consists of three water skis to ride the waves, which are unlike the traditional jet ski. When it is motionless, skis of Jet Blade are submerged while it floats on its hole. As soon as jet blade thrusts forward, the upward plane of front two skis make it easier to break through the surface and ride on top of water once enough speed is gained. The front skis are also responsible for steering in tilt both horizontally and vertically as they move in tandem on an independent suspension system. Due to this, angle of attack is adjusted automatically depending on the surface conditions. The large center position, which is the third ski, provides stability to the vehicle. Autonomous Refuse Truck after the self-driving cars, Volvo Group, together with Renova, a Swedish waste and recycling specialist, is testing and pioneering autonomous refuse trucks in their latest research and development in self-driving vehicles. If all turns out well, it could be used across the urban environments. It is not any easy feat to maneuver such a large vehicle in a residential area. However, the autonomous refuse truck comes with pre-installed sensors continuously monitoring the vehicle's vicinity and if an obstacle suddenly appears in the path, it halts the vehicle. The truck has the ability to drive itself from one wheelie bin to the next with its pre-programmed routes. A 
Unlike human drivers, this truck doesn't get tired or distracted, making it a safer choice than its human counterparts. The truck is sensible enough to autonomously stop at residences while the driver can load the bin onto the lift and the emptying mechanism is carried out. Glisspeed Almost every child adores go-karts, and many of them take this fondness into their adulthood as well. But if you have lost interest, then don't worry, because it is now being revived by Aqualeo SAS. They have designed and developed the first ever electric nautical water go-kart, Glisspeed. With its simple design, both kids and adults can drive it easily. The electric go-kart is environmentally friendly and absolutely silent. With its intuitive handling, speed selection, and high stability due to low center of gravity, the car is safe and easy to be driven by a 9-year-old. Moreover, with an electric engine and a lithium battery that gives you 2 hours of awesome driving, drifting, and riding the waves, the Gliss Speed is 100% electric. Keeping the power below 5 horsepower, it can reach up to 14 knots of speed. Alpha Centauri Hydroplane If the luxury of a super yacht is combined with the speed of a hydroplane race boat, the end result is Alpha Centauri, a sharp looking vessel. This otherworldly looking vehicle seems like it came straight out of a Batman movie. A more realistic description would be a fighter jet canopy, except for the fact that it can carry four passengers. This alluring mini yacht is made to have the same status in the seas that a Lamborghini has on land. Young British boatmaker Chris Phillips is the man behind the idea of this hydroplane, which is 8.3 meters in length. It either serves as a super fast tender or a super yacht as it has a lightning quick speed and sounds like a Chevy on waters, and why wouldn't it? With a thrilling top speed of 60 knots, this stealthy radical beast is one of the fastest super yachts in the world. Alpha Centauri not only competes with Lamborghini in performance but in price as well as it's available for $150,000. Loppy Fit Walking Bike Are you bored with the same old fitness routine that includes running but reaching nowhere? Well, Bruin Bergmeister has invented something to spice up your treadmill workout. Loppy Fit is a transportation vehicle which is not exactly a run-of-the-mill bicycle or a scooter but somewhere in between having a treadmill in between its wheels. It should not come as a surprise that this walking bicycle inspired us to be moving for better health. And of course it was invented in the Netherlands, which is also recognized as the bicycle capital of the world. Hike on a bike allows you to choose from treading lightly to walking sprightly depending on the mood and requirements. The price tag of $2,495 raises the question of why exactly someone would prefer a treadmill bike over a regular bike or simply walking. 